If you're wondering why the society you've lived in all your life feels as if it's being pulled from under you like a rug, it's because while you weren't paying attention, your wholesome values were quietly reclassified as ugly prejudices, and now you are the problem. You believe in free speech? No, you believe in hate speech, and now you're a criminal. You like democratic sovereignty? Then you're a xenophobe and a fascist. No platform for you. You want a secular society, you Islamophobic racist? You're spreading hate, and you'd better be using the right pronoun too, if you don't want to be excluded for the sake of inclusion. In short, there's no place for you or your kind in the bright new tomorrow we're building. Now that the minds of an entire generation have been thoroughly rinsed through a progressive education that hates Western culture and everything it stands for, and everything that you hold dear, there's been a climate change that you didn't see coming. The climate has changed against you and your privilege, and without wishing to put too fine a point on it, your presence is no longer required. The best way to destroy the foundations of a society is to teach its young people not to respect them. And a whole generation has now been successfully taught not to value free speech, the very cornerstone of our civilization, but to hold it in contempt and to fear it, to run from it, to seek refuge from ideas in emotional safe spaces, and to believe that hurting somebody's feelings is a form of assault on a par with cracking their skull. This tyranny of feelings has been carefully nurtured to breed this infantile generation of emotional casualties, victims and crybabies, this generation of moral and political halfwits who can't wait to sign the next petition to shut somebody up or shut somebody down, never thinking for a moment that it could ever happen to them, a generation so placidly happy to saw off the branch they're sitting on, it's almost as if they've been programmed in some way. So if you think that you've got the truth on your side, you don't know what you're up against. The truth is incorrect and therefore inadmissible. If you think that you've got the law on your side, forget it. The law protects feelings now, but not your feelings. Your feelings are hate. Well, what about your right to free expression under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, you ask? Optimistically. Nice try, but we both know that in the real world, Human rights don't apply to the wrong opinions. Are you crazy? The wrong opinions are hate. You need to understand that when breeding the perfect captive society of self-policing petty censors, you can't afford to let somebody just come along and undermine it with a rational argument. So feelings outrank rational argument now. You probably noticed that when you were banned from social media. And rational argument, when it hurts somebody's feelings, is, you've guessed it, hate. You see, progressive moral righteousness can make up these rules as it goes along, because it's got itself on its side. So really, you can't win. They won't even listen to your arguments as they beat you down with their phony buzzwords. It's not about arguments or ideas anymore. That debate is illegitimate. It's about you being a racist monster, causing division and spreading hate, and it's about dangerous fascist throwbacks like you being aggressively purged from our society like a cancer. Just so you know what you're dealing with here, welcome to Progressive Utopia.